Okay, uh, here's the uh, long-awaited uh, setup of this uh, uh, DVR deal. Um, this is a Zmodo 4 channel or 8 channel DVR. Okay, guys, uh, this is the uh, Zmodo 8 channel DVR uh, recorder, uh, digital video recorder. Um, this is what the unit itself looks like. I've got it stuffed over here on my desk at the moment and a bunch of crap thrown on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through some of the menus and stuff. Um, I'm going to try, because you'll see this here where it's got this black bar. So in between this black bar, I'm going to pull up the menus and stuff um, and kind of show you what's going on. So um, this has a remote. Okay, You have a remote and a mouse. I found the remote is a whole lot easier to use than the mouse. Okay, so... That black bar is going to drive you crazy. I'm sorry, this is the only monitor that I have. <clears throat> okay, so you can go in here and you can hit menu, which is right there. So you hit the menu button, it comes up with the menu itself. Um, when you're setting it up, what you want to do is go in here and the setup button is right there, so you can just push down on the remote. Push the center button is your enter button. Okay, so you can go in stupid bar because um, you can scroll up and down so scroll down do your setup okay this tells you uh, what position on your monitor that you want it to be on okay um, if it's color if you want a preview on because see if you look I've got it all set up so it's on a preview let me exit out of here okay and like I said my camera still need a little fine tuning but um, these top two were the old crappy ones that I had put in and they've just, they finally have just crapped out and they don't want to play anything at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these around and, and uh, make it so they're one through four. And then I can actually hit this button here and it'll display the four cameras up in a, in a, a quarter at a time instead of them being one through, you know, or, or like a, I think it was a, yeah, two, three, or three, four, five, and six, instead of me and one, two, three, and four. So, okay, back to the menus. Okay, so you go in here to your menu, and you want to set it up as a, you want to check, if you want to see what's been recorded, okay, so you hit go to your record button, which is in the middle here. Okay, let the black bar go by a little, okay, and hit the, your enter button. Okay, this is um, shows what you're recording. Um, this set right here wants to know when it starts recording. Okay, so when it it's when it's powered up is when it'll record. Okay, so if you want it to be on a timer, so you know you're going to be home, or um, it's if it's for a business and you want it to uh, record certain cameras during the day and certain cameras at night, um, you can you can do that also. Um, you just set it up for a timer. Okay, back up here one. Um, the file length, um, depending on how long that you want to make it, um, is up to you. Um, you got 15 minutes, 30 minutes, um, 45 and 60 minutes that you can make your file lengths. Um, if you have audio, you can actually enable audio. This is set up to where it actually will do audio on it, but um, I have no audio set up on this. If you change anything, make sure you hit the apply button, which is the middle one on the bottom there, which you see that now. Okay, so hit the exit there. The advanced stuff is all um, all the other things. If you want to be able to set it up for your mobile, uh, you go in here. That's what I was telling you guys where I think you have to have a server set up to be able to run the, your mobile because it has to be set up through the internet. Um, the MD, which is motion detect. Um, let me, I gotta let the dog out here, hold on. Okay guys, so back to the MD, the motion detect. So you can set this up in a specific area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to channel 3. So I got channel 3 selected. It'll pull it up and it'll be a red screen like this. Okay, so say you want a specific area um, to be under a motion detect recording. Stupid bar. Okay, so what you do is you go through here, and all I'm doing is going to the to the right here and hitting the center button. And what that does is it takes the red box away. Anything that's inside 
of the red block or the red boxes is blocked out. Okay, so you just go through here and and block it out. Okay, anything that you don't want it to record, which um, which right now that's my front yard. Um, that's where the dog is at. So above this is where my car usually sits. It's not there right now, and then it it'll show the neighbor's fence and then their windows and stuff across through here. Okay, so like I said, if, what you do, and then um, that sets it up to, you know, I don't have it set up that way. I just got it as a general motion detect. Anything that goes by, it'll pick it up. Okay, um, let's back up out of here. Um, you can set the sensitivity on it. So um, the higher your sensitivity, the more that it's going to record. So you can have you know different things that it'll record no matter what's going on um, like right now it's on number one I just that's the default setting so you can go in here and change it to anything you want and it'll record you know like if you're in an area that has a lot of animals and dogs and stuff and cats you know cats is everywhere um, you can change it to be a little lower but uh, number one is the lowest and number four is the highest um, depending on what you're wanting to do I'm sorry for the little shaky camera here. I had it set up on a tripod and uh, she just didn't want to record right. I couldn't get it to to set up there and actually record, you know, because of where I got this stupid monitor at. So I'm actually standing here holding on to it. So this is all the settings for when you when you actually go to set up a um, uh, to be able to watch it online. Um, okay, so. Um, this is your basic remote. If you wanted to record or to go and look at something that was recorded, hit your menu. You go over to record. What I found is the easiest way. Uh, maybe it isn't that one. Hold on. It's playback. Sorry about that. Playback. Then hit your enter button. What I do is I go over and hit the search button, okay, and uh, just bar scroll by here, okay, wherever it's red, okay, like here and here, these are dates that things were recorded on, so this is so the 18th, and then this is the time, so 7 and 12, um, the last half of 12, uh, if you wait too long, she uh, kicks you back out. So, we'll go back to playback, search, okay, so say I want to look at the 12th, what I can do is I can go scroll across here, I should be able to hit enter, and it'll pull up the 12th, and it'll show the recording for that. Um, on here it actually shows the time at the top of the screen on each one of them. So at 12.34, something moved out there and decided to record. Um, it isn't perfect yet. I'm still working on um, trying to figure it out. So it's one of those things I've got a good idea of what I'm doing so far. Um, like I said, it's still not, it's still not perfect in my sense. Um, kind of still trying to work out the bugs here, but that's a... A basic idea. If I miss something, guys, get with me. Um, that's just some of the stuff there. Because um, I don't know, I haven't set it up on to be able to watch it online yet. Um, this has a, uh, a PTZ function, a pan tilt zoom. Um, if you have camera or cameras, I think I'm not sure if it'll do more than one. But um, if it has a pan tilt zoom function, um, which they're quite expensive, you, you should should be able to um, manipulate it through this particular camera and be able to point it where you want. Um, they're between 100 to $200 a piece and uh, most people don't need those unless it's a business type of atmosphere um, and you're going to be sitting right at the unit or I don't know if you'll be able to get it and use it online um, to be able to, to watch the stuff online with it or not. Um, but like I said guys <sighs> I know that was I know that was just kind of a quickie run through there. Um, sorry about the black line, the black bar that goes across there. These old school monitors do that, and I, I don't have a way to hook it up to um, to my regular flat screen. Uh, 
or I would have hooked it up to that. There's the cabling is different because it's got a DVI input on it. It has no VGA or anything like that. Um, so I am working on trying to get a uh, regular monitor uh, for this. I'm just looking for a small one just to have the ability to kind of keep an eye on it. So um, yeah, guys, if, uh, if there's any, you guys any questions on this, let me know. Um, I still have to move a couple cameras around. I've noticed a few little things that I um, got to move a couple little things because. Um, Cameras kind of point in the right place, but the the infrared um, will, uh, you, if you understand, it'll um, it'll point in the right place, but the infrared won't pick up the way it's supposed to because it'll bounce off of something else. And um, that's what I, I got one camera that I got to move a little further forward, um, which I'd rather leave it where it was at, but it needs to move a little further forward so that way it'll point where I need to. Um, and I'm going to move the one from the backyard up front for now until I get some more cameras. Um, I put the one in the backyard so that way I can see the kids and stuff and see the whole backyard. But, uh, yeah, for now it'll have to go up front and I'm going to look into getting a couple more cameras here. So, um, like I said, guys, you got any questions on this, let me know. Um, this is probably a little drawn out video and I'll get it all cut up and posted up over the next day or so. Um, so, like I said again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like my videos. Got any questions, hit me up. Um, yay!